An Asheville native is remembered as one of the greatest. The mayor proclaimed it Colonel Robert K. Morgan Day in honor of the World War II hero. News 13's John Lee is streaming live from downtown Asheville. John, a memorial was unveiled at a fitting time and place. That's right, we're standing in between the Buncombe Courthouse and Asheville City Hall. And take a look for yourself. It's a beautiful tribute, don't you think? In remembrance, of course, of Colonel Robert K. Morgan. But Colonel Morgan's family says he wouldn't want it to be all about him because so many took the bravery and they never came home. Sometimes patriotism is loud. Every salute in the crowd, every hand over the heart, shows respect that speaks volumes. But there is a remote possibility we may violate the noise ordinance. And to help win World War II. Indeed, it took a generation. In downtown Asheville, they commemorate one of the greats of the greatest generation. Colonel Robert K. Morgan, an Asheville native and famed pilot of the Memphis Bell. He and his B-17 crew, the first to complete 25 combat missions over Europe during World War II. In 1996, he took the air in a restored B-29 for a rare video opportunity. He was always so grounded. We weren't heroes. We, just, we, we were given a job. We knew we had something to do. Colonel Morgan passed away a decade ago, survived by daughter Peggy. He always said that he was not a hero, that the heroes were the ones who did not return home. It's a legacy generations to come will learn to appreciate. Exhibit A. They unveiled a memorial years in the making, not just for Morgan, but for all the World War II veterans. It's wonderful that there is this tribute to an Asheville native. Peggy's eyes beam with pride and well with emotion. He loved this country, and he fought hard for this country, and he was proud. And to think the timing couldn't be better. 71 years ago on this date, the colonel and his crew flew through Asheville during a bond tour, tipping their wing right between the courthouse and city hall. And so, heading east, I banked the plane and put the left wing down between the courthouse and the city hall. It was kind of a tight fit. Maybe you had to be there, but the audio reenactment was a soaring tribute. Just another chance to be loud and proud of a hometown hero. And there's that quote, I was just doing my job, end quote. It's a powerful uh, but simple quote indeed from a great hometown hero. And by the way, Dr. Carl Mumpower on the committee for this memorial, so thrilled that after years in the making, it's finally a reality. Live in Asheville, John Lee, News 13.